All right, Joystick News fans, buckle up because we've got a hot topic to dive into today. The future of Xbox. Will history remember the end of exclusive games as the right choice? This is a story that's been cooking for a while, and it's packed with twists, turns, and a whole lot of speculation. So let's break it down, shall we? First off, Microsoft is flipping the script on us. Remember the good old days when console wars were about who had the best exclusives? Well, Xbox is shaking that up by porting titles like Sea of Thieves and Hi-Fi Rush to other platforms. Grounded and Pentiment are joining that list too. This move has sparked a ton of discussion and a fair share of concern among gamers and industry watchers alike. Some see it as Microsoft waving a white flag in the console wars, potentially signaling a shift away from hardware altogether, much like Sega did back in the day. But hold on, let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Despite what seems like a concession, Xbox is actually in pretty good shape. They're boasting more console users than ever, even with the PlayStation 5 outselling Xbox Series X and S globally. Plus, their PC gaming and cloud gaming ventures are thriving. So what's the deal? Well, it's complicated. The gaming industry is in a weird place right now. With layoffs left and right despite record profits, it's clear that big moves are being made in response to broader tech and economic trends. Microsoft's decision to share its games with other platforms might seem risky, but it's also a strategic play to expand their audience and adapt to a changing market. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the potential end of Xbox exclusives. This is a big gamble. On one hand, making Xbox games available on more platforms could dilute the brand's uniqueness and give gamers less of a reason to invest in Xbox hardware. On the other hand, it's a bold move towards a more inclusive and accessible gaming ecosystem, where more players can enjoy Xbox games, regardless of their preferred platform. Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, has indicated that this initial slate of games moving to PlayStation might just be the beginning, depending on how things go. And let's be honest, we all know how business decisions can change with the wind. If these games perform well on PlayStation, it's hard to imagine Microsoft stopping there. This strategy raises a lot of questions about the future of gaming ecosystems. Are we moving towards a more platform agnostic world where exclusives are less of a selling point? Or is this just a temporary experiment in a constantly evolving industry? Now, here's my take. I get it, Microsoft is trying to play the long game here. Expanding the reach of Xbox games makes sense from a business perspective, especially in a world where hardware sales are no longer the be all and end all. But as a gamer, I can't help but feel a bit nostalgic for the days when exclusives were king. There was something special about that sense of belonging to a particular console's community, waiting eagerly for the next big exclusive drop. However, the industry is changing, and maybe it's time for our expectations to change too. The focus on cross-platform availability could lead to a more unified gaming community, where what we play matters more than where we play it. It's an exciting, if uncertain, future. In conclusion, whether or not this will be remembered as the right choice depends on how well Microsoft executes this strategy. Will they manage to maintain the quality and appeal of their games while reaching a broader audience? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the gaming landscape is evolving, and Xbox is at the forefront of that change. Whether we're ready for it or not, the end of exclusive games could mark the beginning of a new era in gaming. Let's just hope it's an era filled with amazing games, no matter where we play them, 